Reaction to that not guilty verdict in the trial of George Zimmerman from the White House to the courthouse where Zimmerman walked out a free man again. Moments before Zimmerman shaking hands, thanking his defense team, rarely showing any kind of emotion during the trial, displaying a broad smile right there. Trayvon Martin's parents in the courtroom nearly the entire trial, not there for the verdict for that moment, but tweeting overnight, his mother calling it my darkest hour. His father saying he was heartbroken but proud of the fight for his son. Outside the courtroom and at demonstrations across the country, an outpouring of sorrow. Some believing justice was not served. Others saying they feel for Trayvon Martin's parents, but that the jurors did follow the law. And President Obama saying tonight, we are a nation of laws and a jury has spoken. I now ask every American to respect the call for calm reflection from two parents who lost their young son. We have team coverage from Florida to Washington to reaction across the country. And we begin here with an ABC News exclusive. ABC's Matt Gutman, one-on-one -on -one with George Zimmerman's defense team. Matt, we're going to lead off with you tonight. Good evening. Good evening, David. We learned tonight that George Zimmerman is huddling with his family, that last night after that verdict was read, he walked straight out of the front door of that courtroom. Still, his attorney says that his life will never be normal, that George Zimmerman will always have to look over his shoulder. It was the gun that killed Trayvon Martin. And tonight, George Zimmerman's attorney tells ABC News in an exclusive interview that his client will get it back. Does he get that gun back? Yes, he does. How do you think he feels about guns now? I think that he feels truly in his heart that if he did not have that weapon that night, he might not be here. So do you think he would, if he could, he would carry a gun again? Yes. Even more of a reason now, isn't there? A lot more people out there who actually hate him. No, they shouldn't. So you're saying he needs to protect himself? Yes. And the way to do it is by carrying a weapon? It's one way. Justice for Trayvon! Because of those threats, George Zimmerman isn't free, O'Mara told me, despite being acquitted on all charges. Not Where does he him. go now? I don't know. He, he will never be able to just walk down the street and not worry about who's looking at him or who's walking up behind him. Does George Zimmerman still walk around with a bulletproof vest? He wasn't wearing it during the trial a lot. Um, but I know that when he was out in public, he wears it. I think that his, he has a legitimate fear and a legitimate concern. He doesn't know who's going to overreact. Your, your bond will be released. O'Mara said the your threats have made Zimmerman paranoid, and his notoriety it, um, has made him unhireable. He's almost untouchable. Unfortunately, even though he did nothing wrong but protect his own life that night, the, the way that things were sort of visited upon him by the way the case was handled initially uh, made him a pariah, even though it shouldn't have. But Zimmerman isn't the only one fearing for his safety tonight. A lawyer for Trayvon Martin's parents tells us their location is being kept secret because of the death threats they've received. I do. Still, Martin's father, Tracy, tweeting this. Even though I'm brokenhearted, my faith is unshattered. I will always love my baby Trey. That tweet, David, generated 50,000 retweets. Now, we learned that the Martins spent this morning in church. They say they are heartbroken by that verdict, but they accept it. Their attorney this morning says that he is considering civil action against George Zimmerman, who was acquitted of that murder but may have not seen the last of a courtroom.